Hey guys, so last night I went and saw uh, Only the Brave. Uh, this is a movie about the Granite Mountain Hot Shots. Um, if you don't know who they are, I'll explain it in a second. But uh, before I get into that, I do want to send a special shout out uh, to a longtime friend of mine uh, who uh, actually uh, was the person that recommended me do uh, a review for Human Centipede 3 for my five-year anniversary uh, of doing reviews, uh, Nicolette. Um, I know she watches a lot of these videos, and uh, thank you for, just want to say thank you, Nicolette, for all the support of, uh, <laughs> you know, always liking my videos and stuff like that, even the dumb ones, and I uh, do want to th say thank you. And also, uh, send my heart and thoughts out to you. Um, I know you're going through a lot of tough shit right now. Uh, I just want to say I love you, uh, buddy, and uh, hang in there. And my heart goes out to you. So I uh, just wanted to send that out. Uh, and uh, thank you for continuously watching these videos. If you do, I don't know how many you do watch. But uh, thank you. Anyways. Now, on to Only the Brave. This was a movie that I uh, was not... Uh, I, I, this was a movie that, like, for me... When I saw the previews first, I was like, well, this could go one of two ways. This could either be a pretty goddamn good disaster, natural disaster movie, or a not very good natural disaster movie, pretty much. Uh, you know, it could go one of two ways. Uh, it looked fine from the trailers. It looked like... It had, like, a damn good cast. From what I could tell, it was, like, a really good cast. And that was one of the things that had my interest. But um, it's, this is one of those trailers I got so many times. I was, like, every time I, I kind of tune it out every time I saw it. I was not, like, that entranced to go see this movie. But uh, this movie's been getting really goddamn well-received uh, since it's been released. And uh, that, that I took notice of that pretty quickly. I was like, all right, this is, you know, uh, this must be a really goddamn good film. So, yeah, uh, this is one of the best films, easily one of the best films of the year so far. Uh, this was a damn good movie. I recommend people watch it. I, I don't think this movie did very well, and I, it, that's a damn shame. Uh, this is a really good movie. Um, it's, it's a movie about a true story. It's a true story about the Granite Mountain Hot Shots. Uh, uh, they're basically a group of firefighters. If you don't know what hot shots are, they are basically the guys, uh, when there's a wildfire, they are the firefighters that go right into the wildfire and deal with the fire. They are the brave heroes that, you know, risk their own lives to go do that stuff. And it's about these group of local Arizona, uh, hot shots, uh, that, um, and about their basically their process of becoming from becoming hot shots to become or and uh, then when they become one and their uh, uh, a lot of their heroic uh, duties that they end up doing a lot of the stuff that they do uh, it's a really it's a really good movie it's a really interesting story like I said I I didn't know much about the story going in. I, apparently, this was a big news story when it happened. I did not know about it. It's like, man, that just tells you how much I fucking watch the news. Apparently, it just happened a few years ago. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was like, I, like that kind of helped watching this movie, not knowing much about the story going in. But uh, this movie is really fucking well acted. Should get some Oscar nominations as far as I, I if I were to say in the acting department, uh, particularly for the two main leads, which were Josh Brolin uh, and uh, Miles Teller. Uh, they both are fantastic in this movie. They are the two main focuses of this movie. More Miles Teller than anybody, but there's a lot of scenes of Josh Brolin focusing on his story. And uh, Josh Brolin is basically the leader of this group of hotshots who is kind of a hard-ass... You know, being Josh, he's basically being Josh Brolin, uh, who's uh, very dedicated to his group of guys, um, and is very dedicated to his keeping uh, his town safe and preserving his town from wildfires. And he's very good at his job. 
Um, he <laughs> kind of like a little bit, you know, a little bit of a rebel, a rebel as far as the, you know, not listening to authority that well. But he's 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 really good in this movie, and it has his. Uh, you follow a lot for this movie his relationship with his wife, who's played by Jennifer Connelly, who uh, they have a kind of uh, like you know they have a great, a pretty good marriage, but they also have a very strained marriage because he's you know spending a lot of time fighting these wildfires and not a lot of time at home, and she kind of secretly wants a a baby and they never had kids before because Josh Brolin has never really wanted to have one because, you know, he's going to be away for so many years and that's, you know, he's not going to be able to, or not going to be away for so, so long and he might not be able to watch his kid grow up that much. Um, and it's like, it's a really good story. Like, the, I like I, I thought Jennifer Connelly was really good. I like Jennifer Connelly. It's like, I don't see her much anything, anymore. And it's a shame. Because she's a good actress. Um, Miles Teller, definitely probably. I, if I were to probably say out of the two who should get the Oscar nom- nomination, it's Miles Teller. Even though I love Josh Brolin. Fuck it, I love Josh Brolin. And he's great in this movie. He definitely does carry this thing. But Miles Teller's performance, this kid is like the future of Hollywood. I've said it for like a while now, but he he's gonna go places. Uh this like hell I seen you know the previews for that thank you for your service in front of this. I'm like, man, he's like in everything now. It's like Jesus Christ. <laughs> um and that does look good too, but um he's basically this kid who uh like basically kind of went to school to become a firefighter but did nothing with his life and is like kind of addicted to dope and he finds out through that that his ex-girlfriend that he just broke up with basically a few months ago is pregnant with his child and she's five months pregnant about to deliver this child basically in a few months and he decides to basically take responsibility and get a job and becomes a firefighter one of the hot shots and joins this group and he's like i said his like you know transition like throughout this movie like his story arc is really strong i love this uh his him as a character it was a really goddamn uh great character um you know like especially towards the end his acting at the end of this movie holy shit like it showed his acting jobs very well. He, like, showed his acting jobs very well. You also have fucking Jeff Bridges in this movie. There are many scenes where it's Josh Brolin and Jeff Bridges together, just having a scene together. Those are two of the best actors alive today. Two powerhouse actors like Josh Brolin and fucking Jeff Bridges in one movie together. Like, for a lot of it, they're in this movie a lot together. That just, like... Oh man, I was like, this is like, oh man, like I was already like from the get go. As soon as they had scenes together, I'm like, I'm already loving this fucking movie <laughs> just because of those two. Jeff Bridges is like, the, he works for the city, who kind of like is good friends with uh, Josh Brolin and wants kind of helps him become a hot shot and everything else like that. Uh, like he's great in this movie. He's Jeff Bridges, fucking, I love Jeff Bridges. Can pretty much be great in anything at this point. Uh, I love Jeff Bridges. Andy McDowell's in this movie. Holy shit. Uh, he, she's uh, uh, Jeff Bridges' wife, and I'm like, as soon as she popped up, I went, holy shit, Andy McDowell's in this movie. Like, huh. I was like, uh, wow. I was like, is it, one, she's gotten old. Two, I was like, oh, where the fuck she been for the last 20 years? <laughs> uh, it's good to see her. I was like, it was like, cool. I was like, I, I have no problem with her being in this movie. Um, and then she's very uh, in this movie, very little, but it's like, you know, it's kind of nice to see her. Uh, also, Taylor Kitsch is in this movie. Nice to see him still get work. <laughs> uh, after John Carter, after like you know, the disaster that was John Carter and pretty much derailed his career for poor guy, because I always thought he was a decent actor. I loved him on Friday Night Lights. He basically is playing. 
Tim Regans, if he was a, uh, from Friday Night Lights, if he was a firefighter, basically that's the way to best describe him. Uh, but if he had a sweet ass mustache too, uh, like he's really good in this. I, I I always liked that kid. I always thought he was a pretty good actor. He just he got stuck. He his career just got derailed right after fucking John Carter. He also did right after that battleship. Poor guy. <laughs> like man, he had no fucking chance after that. Uh, I think some guys said it was nice to see him still get work. Um, that's somebody I haven't seen in something in a while. Um, um, yeah, like I said, the, the performance is, like, is what carries this movie really a lot for uh, a lot of this movie. Um, the, like, the, uh, this is a movie that, like, I, like I said, I didn't know much about the story going in. I was like, oh, is this about just basically about a group of firefighters or a bunch of heroes and showcasing like all the like the the wildfires they help protect towns from and stuff like that? I'm like, oh, that's not a nice thing. I didn't know until probably about halfway through it. It's like, oh, this is not gonna end well, is it? I was like, oh shit. It's like I had to think. I should have thought in my back of my head. I'm like. This is based off a true story about a group of guys. Usually when you get a true story about a group of guys, it never ends well. And no, it does not. If you don't know the true story, there are probably people like, really? You didn't know the story? I'm like, I didn't know the story, all right? Uh, apparently my mom did. I was like, oh. <laughs> I didn't. It's, and it's like, it. it's like, man, that last act of this movie is pretty hard to watch. It's sad. It's hard. It's... Heart wrenching, man. <laughs> it is heart wrenching. Because you actually you, you give a shit about these characters. Uh, they like you spend so much time with every, pretty much a majority of them. There's like a certain few that like you get like more time with, but uh, pretty much everybody like man, man when that ending happened, like I I knew it was not gonna end well, but because like as soon as Josh Brolin's like talking about retirement, as soon as a character talks about he's close to retirement, you know that character is not gonna last. <laughs> uh, and like you know he like um, Taylor Kitsch is like talking about maybe you know settling down with this girl he met. Uh, and it's like, oh man, this is not, I like, as soon as like, oh man, it's not gonna end well. I was like, I was like, oh shit, th this is not gonna end well. And, um, just because, like, the way dialogue was presented, I'm like, huh. Um, yeah, it's, at that last, at that last half hour was pretty rough. Um, but, you know, it's a really great movie about a group of heroes. They are definitely heroes there's nothing they're the true definition of what a hero is um those guys were uh they saved a lot of fucking towns a lot of lives a lot of wildlife uh you know it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool story and i, I guess it's a cool story that it's cool that hollywood recognized you know, people like this and gave up made a movie about them um, apparently, like I said, this is one of the most, it resulted in one of the worst, it, somebody said the worst, uh, casualty of firefighters, what happens at the end of the movie, uh, since 9-11, wow. When it said that, I was like, wow, I'm so, I was like, how the fuck did I not hear about this years ago? No, um, apparently this is a, a pretty recent, but, um, yeah, I really like this movie. Fuck yeah, it's a, it's a damn good movie. I uh, highly recommend it. Um, definitely better than The Snowman. Holy shit, is it better than The Snowman? Anything could have been better than The Snowman. A piece of sh a pile of dog shit would have been better to, than The Snowman. Uh, yeah, I uh, highly recommend it. Check it out. I know a lot of people haven't seen it. Go check this movie out. It's really good. Uh, I, I definitely can't recommend it more. Uh, as far as trailers, I don't even need this. Uh, I got the new uh, Thor Ragnarok trailer. Man, that movie, every time I see a trailer for this, I was like, this looks like a lot of fucking fun. I was like, I, this is the first time I've seen a trailer for a Thor movie, and I'm like, that looks like a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this a lot. And uh, apparently it's getting really well received, so yay. Um, which is not saying much because the other ones did not get very well received. I mean, they got decent reviews. 
the Dark World, for the Dark World, I haven't even reviewed that, like, what I was doing on YouTube, uh, doing reviews on YouTube, and I even thought it was fine. Uh, I didn't hate, like I said, I don't hate, I, it's, I haven't hated really any Marvel movie up to this point, so it's like, I, like, there's been ones that have been, uh, weaker, the weakest uh, out of the bunch, and that you know, the four movies so far have been usually the weakest of the bunch. This one looks like it'll be one of the stronger ones, so <laughs> yeah, looking forward to that in a couple weeks. Uh, I got a lot to fucking uh, finish of watching here uh, in the next couple days. I still got three fucking movies, and that's before Friday, uh, which include Hush, which I'm watching right now, uh, Letterface, and Jigsaw. That's Wow. Uh, yeah, so those free reviews I'm hoping to get by Friday. If not, at least I'll have one on... Uh, have two of them and one on uh, Halloween. Uh, I'm hoping to knock them all out uh, here shortly. So before I get going to North Carolina. But until then, I'll talk to you guys later.